Hi y'all, what's good? It's your girl Fats. Hope you guys are doing well. Hope you guys are having an amazing day. Hope you guys are having an amazing week. I hope you guys are staying safe because you ain't safe out here in these streets. It really isn't. I'm back again with another vlog. Guys, we back again. Another day, another networking event, baby. I'm so excited. Today I am off to London again. And I'm going to Box Park Croydon for another networking event. And this networking event is specifically... Um, it's actually specifically from, it's basically this networking event is by Ramel London. She's a presenter and it's her launch to her podcast, the mainstream podcast. But the panel that she's got for this event is going to be amazing. And on top of that, we're going to be networking as well. And we're going to just be learning a lot of things about the industry and everything else as well. And I'm so excited, I'm so excited. You guys know me, I said at the beginning of this year and the end of last year that I wanted to network, okay? And I wanted to meet amazing, like-minded people, people that are in the creative industry, people that are successful, and people that just want to connect. You know what I'm trying to say? And you guys know me. I'm all about good vibes, good energy, or whatever. So yeah, I'm excited. Um, but currently, as you can see, I've got my two feed braids, you know, keeping it cute and simple. But it's going to be a long day as well because even though it's in London and I'm going to be traveling two hours with a train, but I'm also... Oh, I'm also fasting, guys. I'm also fasting. You guys know it's the month of Ramadan. And, um, yeah, it's going to be a long day. But it's all good. It's all good. I've got this. I've got this. But, yeah, I'm so excited. I'm currently rocking this pink cute shirt with some jeans and some boots. Because this weather right here, even though it's supposed to be spring, but the weather is not springing today. It's giving gloomy weather okay and i'm just ready for just the summer to just be here because honey i'm trying to be outside this summer i'm trying to be outside this summer i'm trying to live it up this summer but yeah i'm excited and i'm gonna take you guys with me at the event okay anyways guys let me go because i don't want to miss my train you guys know me me and my african timing but yeah i'm excited ah! I don't know about you guys, but I'm actually in such a good mood today. Like, I'm in such a good mood. I woke up this morning, you know, journaled, said my affirmations, meditated. And you know what? Because I've got such a busy schedule, it's very rare that I actually sit down and meditate. But today I said, you know what? Let me meditate for five minutes. And boy, I am feeling good. I'm feeling amazing. And I can just feel so many high vibrations around me right now, you know? Hey. Hey. <laughs> See, I can only do with filters now. Jeez, sorry. Come on, I can only do with Um, at present, I'm a DJ, presenter, um, uh, facilitator, teacher, artist manager, multi hyphenate, um, <laughs> YouTuber, yeah, and a dad. Yes. Aww, that is a <laughs> yes. Tell someone is that it's okay if it takes a long time, and it's actually really refreshing sitting here, and we're all talking about that ten year thing. Yeah. Because I get bad anxiety, like turning thirty and all of that jazz about. I'm not there yet. Oh my God, I'm going to be old. Just don't worry about that. Your time will come. Just be patient. Yes, yes. Solid. Um, I would say, oh, the first thing is don't be like a perfectionist. Yeah. I would say don't be a perfectionist. It's a waste of time. You won't do it. You know, you'll say, oh, good idea. It's going to come soon. And it's not, you're not going to do it. He's like, I'm going to wait till I get that camera or this piece there or that, or that program. No. You need to get into the thing of the habit of working, doing the work. Mm -hmm. I would say so. If when if you look, go back and look at some of my YouTube videos early, you can just see progression. True. You know the lighting was a bit oh like, <laughs> and then and then also I would say learn the stuff, do it yourself because when you wait for this person, I'm that person's gonna edit your thing. It's long. 
your ID won't happen and it dies. You know, so I would say honestly, um, it can start off rubbish. You'll, you will teach yourself how to edit. Be the person, it's all in you. Stranded in London, guys. <laughs> It's the start of your vlog. <laughs> yeah. yeah we, we, we got stranded. We missed the train. We missed the train. Yeah, we <laughs> 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 it's the energy for me. Well, the, the, at the end of the day, what can we do? We're, we got stranded. No, no. Why was my hair looking like that, please? Look at me networking, my hair looking like a hot mess. But anyways guys, so basically we had to get like a train to Northampton because the train that we were supposed to get, we was like literally two minutes away, not even two minutes, like one minute away from getting the train and then we didn't get it no more. So we're now stranded. With these ones here, stranded with them. Um, but it is what it is. How do you guys feel? Do you guys feel excited about being stranded? I feel okay. I've got my tacos. She's got her tacos in the bag. Shrimp tacos. You got your taco, so you're good. I just have my laptop and my. Belinda just looks tired. Belinda just wants her bed. Like, why do I have to go through this? Yeah. Yeah, she was not happy at all. We're trying to lift up the spirit and all. No, but we actually tried to run for the train. We actually nearly got it. To you saying it like no, the way she gave us Mofara today. Hey, that's not even Mofara, that's you saying. <laughs> no, if it wasn't for that man, we would have gotten that train. Definitely. Yeah. Well, we had a good time, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, it's, 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 it's been a bit full. Yeah, we could tell our kids about this one day. It could have been a lot worse, I so could have been around people. Imagine life, if we got that train and then. Good. No, but imagine if we got that train and then we got to Birmingham about 7 a.m. in the morning. The 12 a.m. Oh, that took five hours. No, it took five hours because it drops you off one place. You have to wait there four hours. <laughs> 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 oh, <shit. laughs> we would have just had to get a blanket and a pillow and sleep on the train. Yeah, I would find somebody to pick me up. Guys, we're watching the circus on the train. Are you guys seeing this madness? <laughs> Nearly oh, 1 a.m. in the morning, yeah. stranded. Madness. Trying to get back to Birmingham. This girl trying to fix her hair. No, it's because after a long day. I'm so glad I didn't like like gel my hair or do anything that was gonna make it tight tight. It looks cute like that though. It half doesn't, half there's half. not enough gel. I didn't put any gel in it, so it's just like it's not slick. Well, it's looking slick enough. It's got like bumps in it because Are you still recording? Yeah. What are you still recording me for? Have you done it? No. Ciao. It's the middle of the night. What are you trying to do? What start are you trying to do for us? <laughs> half, uh, half, no, it's called comfortable. A high, a high ponytail. I don't care what I look like right now. Well, regardless, you still look cute. Now, is Linda still drinking up the place? What's good guys? It's you got fast. I'm back again, guys. Today the weather is doing bits today, okay? It's Easter holiday, bank holiday. Well, it's it's basically Easter weekend -er, and the sun is shining. Apparently it's 20 degrees. I haven't been out yet. Okay, I'm still taking a light jacket because I still don't trust this weather. But yeah, the weather is really shining today and it's such a shame. But yeah, basically I am going to radio from two till four and then after that i've got to go to the gym but yeah i'm excited you guys know me i'm really enjoying radio at the moment and i'm currently fasting as well so yeah i'm doing a whole lot it's a busy packed afternoon i've just finished filming a video a commentary as well as you can see rocking my uh two feet braids i look so cute oh my god i look like a baby like i actually have such a baby face yes guys that was ballon d'or featuring whiskey and burner boy guys i had to bring some afrobeat tunes to the session and if you're a whiskey fan if you're a burner boy fan you guys know when these two come together oh it's a vibe it's a vibe you guys know they're about to deliver they're about to give us some heat 
and yeah i had to i had to bring the tunes but next up this tune right here if you were if you were on my last session i believe it was last week or the week before you guys know this tune right here has been on repeat it's been on my playlist i haven't stopped playing the song because this song right here is just getting me ready for the summer okay it's getting me ready for the summer and i'm about to blast this tune on my playlist i'm not gonna lie this tune is about to be on repeat all summer um so we've got some ashanti and h baby enjoy guys yes guys that was mufasa by deneo listen if this song didn't get you up dancing vibing oh i don't know I, I don't know maybe you're missing out because this tune right here just got me vibing dancing and i tell you this now it got me on high spirits because sometimes you need some funky house you need some funky house on your playlist you know whilst you're doing errands house chores you know if you're out with the girls you need some funky house you know what i mean and this song right here had to play the song it's the vibes the beat it's the instruments for me because boy yeah that's the song that's the song but next up we're gonna play some movado we're gonna play some movado and we're gonna play truest thoughts make sure you guys enjoy Yay. yes guys that was essence by whiskey guys literally i had to load some afrobeat tunes because i'm i don't know if it's i don't know if it's just me but i'm just feeling some afrobeat songs i'm i'm just feeling some afrobeat songs today like we've just had essence by whiskey and then we had emiliana by ck like i had to bring the afrobeat tunes for the weekend okay and if you guys know if you was living it up last summer you guys know essence was that song for the summer last year and i know for a fact that this year is going to be that song like everyone's still playing the tune because the song is a vibe and i know for a fact that essence is going to be one of those summer tunes this year as well it's on my playlist as well and on top of that we had baby with ashanti and h that's going to be one of the songs for the summer as well so i'm telling you this summer is going to be a vibe this summer is going to be the summer it will bring us back to when summer 2016 y'all remember summer 20 summer 2016 was that summer where yeah we was living it up and i'm sure summer 2022 oh it's about to be a lit summer but anyways guys it is 3 42 right now and we've got other more tunes coming up uh we're gonna play some deneo it's been a while since i've listened to some deneo so i had to bring some deneo into the song if you are a funky funky house if you're into funky house, funky music, then this song is a vibe, okay? We have some Mufasa by Deneo. Enjoy the song. I totally forgot that I didn't vlog properly when I came back from London. And I wanted to just come back and catch up with you guys on what happened when we came back. So basically, we nearly got stranded in London. We nearly got stranded in London because we basically missed our train by one minute. Don't ask me how. Actually, I'm just going to tell you. Basically, what happened was we left London. We left the event around 10.40. And our train was like at 11.30. And we basically, I, I believe we caught, we got on the wrong train. We're trying to figure out what train to get so we can get back from Croydon to Euston. And it was kind of late. But the thing is, we got to the train station on time. We literally ran there. The train was literally there. And it didn't leave like... For a few minutes and as soon as we got there we we're about to get onto the train the guy that was on the barriers tells us to go the other way and the fact that that is not the right train and we were like wait hold on that is the train because it was a vanti and we're going the right on the other way we basically run the other side and basically this man didn't want us to get on the train he didn't want us to get on the train i don't know why and we missed it we missed the train but we literally got there and we could have gotten on that train he just didn't want us to go on the damn train we had to get a train from london Euston to go to northampton and they basically get a cab from northampton to birmingham i know right i know it was so worth it that event was so insightful and i've learned so much from that event i've learned i've met so many amazing people at that event as well and people that are on the same similar journey as me 
people that are in the journey of you know getting into presenting radio and it was just so insightful to see i even spoke to some of the uh presenters or some of the panels that were some of the panelists and some people as well that are in the industry as well it was just that event was just um that was probably one of the best events that i've been to this year so i'm really hoping to go to another networking event sometime like like november time october time because right now you know summer's summer's here summer's around the corner and you know i'm trying to i'm trying to live my best baby girl life this summer so yeah so far i've been to at least like four networking events and yeah but yeah i'll definitely be going to a lot more by the end of this year but i hope you guys enjoy this mini vlog um uh, make sure like share and subscribe and i shall see you on my next video bye